We're just getting ready to leave Konakakai Harbor in Molokai and we had a little delay because this barge is coming in. They get a food supply or they supply the island like once a week and so it's a big event. All the stores are pretty much empty at the po this point so they're coming in. What do you want to say? Yes. We just ready to go to Lono Harbor, which is about three miles ahead of Molokai. Tomorrow morning. How far away is it? About three miles to the end of the island. But how far is it from here? About 13 miles. 13 miles. When you anchor in Konakakai Harbor, it's important to stay clear of the area in front of the wharf because tugboats with barges use the harbor and they need plenty of room to maneuver. We're hoping it's not going to take them all day because we can't leave until they finish with their maneuvers. The harbor here is not exactly very large for the actually the anchorage, so hopefully we're not going to be in the way here. Any further in it gets very shallow. Well, it's got reef as you can see all along here. So as Jules mentioned, we're on our way to Lono Harbor and it's a beautiful day. Not much wind though. Anyways, we're headed to a tiny little anchorage called Hale Lono, or just Lono for short. We're just getting ready to come into Lono Harbor in Molokai. There's a breakwater right there. Over 30 years ago, we sailed into this harbor because our engine wasn't running, which was kind of exciting at the time, but this time we're going in by engine because there's not much wind. Lono is an abandoned barge harbor on the south coast and there are two breakwaters that protect it. Sometimes during southern swell events you'll get big breakers on the reef and then the channel can be too dangerous to attempt. We've known of several sailors that have lost their boat on the reef here. You can see when comparing this old footage when we both still had nice dark hair with our new footage that while we've changed a lot the harbor hasn't changed one bit and that's a good thing I guess. The last thing it needs is to be commercialized and have a new marina put in here. Watching this old footage brings back good memories of times past. It's hard to believe we're still on the same boat, our Emerald Steel. She's an integral part of us, I guess. After we made sure we were safely anchored, it was off to visit our neighbors. Anchoring here in uh, Alono Harbor in Molokai. There you look at our boat and the uh, entry into uh, the little harbor. It's a bit protected. It's only about five, six hundred feet across. I'm gonna go for a walk. Go up there to the top to see if you can get a telephone signal and maybe internet. This is Susan. There is the entry to Alona Harbor. We just climb up the mountain and there is our boat. The anchorage is pretty good, but it isn't big enough for more than five or six boats. The depth is between 8 and 16 feet. The best anchor spots are to the east of the entrance, and if the surf is up, you can expect some swell to creep in. It's a beautiful view of the harbor and surrounding islands from up here, and as you can see, we never get tired of admiring our little ship.
Looking down at the entrance made us realize that sailing our heavy cruiser with our engine out of commission into this narrow entry surrounded by reefs is kind of taking a chance, as we personally knew a friend from Lahaina that lost his 40-foot catch while trying to sail into the harbor. Small beach at the Lomo. This is where we just came from. We will walk out there this morning. Have a nice little walk. We ended up staying a few days longer than planned because the weather changed and the entry or exit became dangerous. It's hard to believe how fast the weather can change. As you saw when we arrived a few days ago, it was so calm and placid, and now the harbor has become inaccessible as it is on a lee shore. Hey Susie, don't go there. Very good time to try to get into Lono. As you can see, the waves breaking out right in front of us. Well, our boat is anchor right there. Now I think my is at a high point. Right there behind Susan is the entry. And look at how it's breaking out right from the entry. The waves breaking right in front of the entry. We'll have to wait another day or two for us to go down because right now we can't leave the mono. Entry to Lono Harbor. The waves breaking through. We have to wait for another day or two before the sea comes down so we can get out. feeling to be safely anchored in the harbor where the conditions were quite mild, perfect for cooking, eating, sleeping, and exploring, while outside it was rather rough. There's several interesting places to explore in Lono. It has a nice little beach, the walk up the cliff to view the harbor, and it has some cool tide pools where you can refresh yourself on a hot day. Okay guys, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please don't forget to leave a comment and a thumb up. We love hearing from you 
And before we leave, we'd like to thank all of you that support our channel through Patreon and PayPal. We really appreciate your support, guys, and we will see you all next time. Bye-bye.